Hi, it's Kana. Welcome back to my closet. And today I'm going to do a little makeup basket for you. I know it's been a while. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. I have been wearing makeup, however, so let's talk about that. Um, what I wanted to do is something different. And I think it's going to be fun to do this way. I have tried it several different ways and you know, I like the way this one's going. So what I've been doing is using whatever the hell I want. And um, I'm going to show you what those things are. <laughs> so this is going to be called Makeup Basket in Reverse. Let's get into the stuff and I'll tell you what I've been using and loving for the last whatever, like probably, ugh, it's probably been a month. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Let's get into this. So I'm going to go in order of the way that I put things on. Sometimes it's, it differs today. This is how I put things on today, I think. So yeah, well, let's talk about it. Well, first of all, I have this Burberry Fresh Glow and I've used this a couple of times. There's kind of a lot of product in here, so I will probably be finished with this in the next couple days. There might be two more uses in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is it, am I glowing? Not, don't count, this doesn't count. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you know, I'll let you know. Next, I have the Becca Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Primer, and I've been using this little guy. I put this on before I do anything else to kind of smooth out and like it has a cooling effect but sometimes I don't even notice that part but to help smooth out the under eye so there's that I have like the whole Becca trifecta which also involves these two products so this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector we're in that today too so far all of this and then this I'm not going to show you that because you know spoilers that's in a project pan it's in the hashtag roulette pan collab or project pan roulette collab which I'll link in the cards and it's really fun so it's a bunch of people doing that you should totally check it out anyway I get to do it with my friends Alexi and Rebecca and it's fun so and everybody else like there's a bunch of people doing that that I know and it's amazing check it out just watch it there's a playlist I'll link the playlist okay and then this is the Becca under eye brightening setting powder so there's that been using that occasionally I've been using my Stila palette it's the uh, correct and perfect it's just a little you know uh, correcting palette it has two powders and a bunch of creams it's actually cool though because it has the little plastic piece in between so that's nice and the packaging's pretty so I love it I don't use it all the time. Sometimes I just don't feel like it. I have melasma, so I have like uh, hyperpigmentation um, and I have redness too. So I use it for that. It helps. Sometimes I just don't care though, if I'm being honest. Okay, God, my makeup gets so dirty. So order of use, yeah, let's get back to that. Okay, so this is my Bobbi Brown foundation. This is my NYX Total Control Drops for lightening. This is just like a mixture of things that I'm trying together, a little foundation, because I had to lighten this up. And so I actually kind of mixed a few things in here, but whatever. I've been playing with that. I have the Tarte Shape Tape. This is a concealer I use on my face to brighten and sometimes under my eyes and sometimes both. And then this is a new product that I've received. Well, no, <laughs> this is a new product that I bought because I saw it at Marshall's and I investigated and it was not touched. And so I grabbed it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick. And this is in the shade mink. So I don't know if you can see that. Do you see that? It's like ugh, such a good contour color, right? I don't cream contour, so I wanted to try it. 
this looked like a perfect shade. I was just like, yeah, let's do that. So I'm wearing it today with, I, I did a um, powder contour over top to kind of set it. This blends out so easily. I really do like it. So I might've just gotten a little bit more extra. I'm enjoying it. I didn't think I would. I don't tend to like cream products, but that one's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. All right, now I have a mountain of stuff, so let me just kind of sort through it because there's so much stuff. Okay, so as always, I have my Lunatic Cosmetic Labs. This is Contour Book Volume 1. This is what she looks like, and I love her. So I do use this for contour, blush, uh, highlight, powders. They're, they're all matte, but they're lovely. So I've been using that. Also, I have the Park Avenue Princess, uh, the Chisel Palette. This guy, uh, I'll just show it to you. It's gorgeous. I'm honestly, I bought this for the packaging. I don't really need this. But I do like my Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer, and I don't have a lot of powders, so I was just like, you know what, I, this is going to be cool. So I bought it, but the packaging, oh my god, the packaging. Look how flipping beautiful this is. Look how pretty. Yeah, love this. Ooh, dropping things. I can't even throw the box away because it's also pretty, but let me open it. And um, it says chiseled like a diamond on the mirror. Get rid of that. But here's what she looks like. So, um, yeah, good, good stuff. You know, these are warm. I, I don't use them for contour. But they're good bronzers. <laughs> and I'll use them for other stuff. I think this is going to be a nice palette to just take. Uh, if I could get it to, oh no, it's in there. I think this would be a really nice palette to take with me someplace to, um, you know, leave, just bring some pops of color and I could use these as a uh, cliche stuff. So, and like highlight. So yeah, I've been using that, been enjoying it more than I expected to. So keeping that and next. I will talk about this because this is my baby. This is my new NARS palette. It's the Orgasm Infatuation palette. Don't don't demonetize me. Wait, I'm already not monetized, so it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a dork. I'm a dork. Anyway, the packaging on this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Are you looking? You, you better look look at her. Mm. She's beautiful. I mean, look, it's studs. Can you see? Can you see this? Can you see it? My God. Obsessed with this packaging. I want more. Anyway, it's the old Laguna Orgasm and the brand new orgasm um, highlighter, which is in there with the old standbys. I've never owned any of these and I'm wearing them all today and I approve. So loving this palette. Um, yeah, the blush is a little light, but I still really like it. Okay, next. I have my Naked Cosmetics highlighter palette. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen that. It just has a bunch of fun, crazy, like duochrome colors in it. I have the highlighter from IBY Beauty that's in a Project Pan, which I will link up here if you want to check it out. That is in the same Project Pan roulette collab. So I'll link that. Also, I have the Too Faced bronzer. This is the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Also in that same collab. Okay, these are not in collabs or project pants. So we'll just talk about these. So I have this Tarte Fairy Flush blush. Okay, 
I said, no, it's boring. I don't need it. But then I realized that the packaging, are you ready? Packaging, come on, focus, focus. The packaging is stars. And I don't know if you can, you're going to be able to tell, but oh my God, they move. It's gorgeous and pink. So there's that. And then here's the color. Um, it's not anything new or special really, but it's really nice. It's like a nice, like kind of pinky nudie color. It's very subtle, but it's nice. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Yeah, there it is. You see it right in here. So I like it. It's like a neutral blush. I do like neutral blushes a lot. So I'm enjoying that. And the packaging is very fun. So also using the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted blush. And I think this is the, yeah, this is the charming, the shade charming. It's kind of glaring. So I'll just show you the color, but that's what it looks like smells like an apricot or something. I dig it. Laura Geller pink buttercream blush. Lovely blush. Really, really pretty. So that's all of those. Let's move on. Okay. I'll just tell you, I use my Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder Duo. Uh, depending on what I'm going for, I have like a matte or a kind of glow powder for um, buffing finishing powder don't always use powder but I enjoy that when I do some brow products I have the cella brow cream I have been using this occasionally still I really like this I don't know it's just easy and um, yeah it's cool I'll keep it this is the Winky Lux brow pencil and it's that teardrop shaped tip and um, I thought that I liked this but I low-key hate this, <laughs> but it has hieroglyphs and Eye of Ra, Horus all over it, and therefore it will stay because it's pretty, and I like looking at it. Also, I saw somebody's was all worn off, and I'm like, well, good, because I don't like it. I won't use it. It won't wear off. Problem solved. <laughs> okay, now I just want to show you what is going on with my brows. Okay. These are my brow products today. So this is the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer. I know. It's good for brows. Um, my brows always move. I don't know. You guys could probably go through and watch my videos and this one will always have like a dent in it or something. It just irritates the crap out of me. <laughs> so I found this. It's amazing. I asked a girl at Sephora that worked there what she had in her brows and she told me and um, it's incredible. So highly recommend that. And then I go in with a one of these uh, tinted brow gels after that's dried. And then I pop in there with a pencil. This one's from Chella. This one, uh, this is the Brow Gal, and the other one was Anastasia Beverly Hills Espresso. But um, this is Tantalizing Taupe from Chella. It, I like this one because it has like the very, very small pencil. Uh, it's just very, very easy to kind of flick, you know, do like hair-like flicks with that. So it's really nice for that. So I love that. Okay. This is my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. I use this to set my eyelids for my eyeshadows and I love it. Always use that. This is the NARS, uh, what is it? Soft Matte, com Creamy, Complete Soft Matte, something like that. It's in the wrong container. It's just a little sample I got, but I love this. But I love this for uh, doing a cut crease. Love love it so there's that okay got this Tracedeek Aspen Pine eyeshadow crayon which doesn't want to snap there we go I have two pigments from Beauty Bar Baby I have the Craft and Hocus Pocus they're quad shifting and they're amazing if I have a picture I'll insert it 
Next, I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 and a cat hair. So uh, this guy is what is on my eyes today. Except for the peach highlighter I showed you is what I have going on in the middle and in the inner corner and I also put it down below. So there's that. Oh, by the way, this is in my um, throwing shade, which I will link up here. You should check it out. There's a playlist for that too. But yeah, I will link my throwing shade so you can look at it. But it's just so much fun where we pick like three palettes for the four weeks and we have to do a look from each one. And on week four, we do a look from all three of them combined. And um, it's just a really good way to go through palettes and it's fun. And I have had this thing forever. I got it at BoxyCharm. I never touched it. First time I used it. Guess what? I love it. What the hell was I doing? I, I don't know. I love that thing. It's great. I love it. What can I say? So the other thing for the throwing shade was these um, palettes that I had for the uh, four weeks prior. So I had the Misha Lu Witchcraft. I had the ABH Subculture. And I had Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette. So I can put those away now. My basket's getting really full. Uh, this is the Becca Volcano Goddess palette. This has a lot of mixed reviews. I'm going to show it to you because why not? I don't see a lot of people talking about this, so I just figured I would show it to you. It's gorgeous. But the packaging is the same. The palette, it's like a plastic. Anyways, this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, yeah, it's really, really pretty. I have not used all of these. I'm not going to say you should run out and buy this yet. So, um, I have used all of the mattes. I have used these lovelies down here. Um, and I think I used this guy up here. These so far are really beautiful and I like it. Some people don't. But again, I, I have not even used half of the colors, so don't quote me. I'll get back to you when I've used it more. But so far, gorgeous palette. For sure. Okay, I used my Fenty Beauty, uh, what is this? The three in one, it's like a glitter flip, nude colored, it's later crater, it's the name of the color. Eyeliners, I have Urban Decay Perversion, Alkaline and Post Punk. So I, I, I like them. Uh, this is the 420 Melt All Day Every Day eyeliner. I used up this Milk Makeup Mascara Kush. And then I opened the Wander Beauty Unlashed, which I am actually quite enjoying. So for the lower lashes right now, I'm using the It Superhero Mini that I got from somewhere. Then I used the lip liner, Model Co Illusion Lip Liner. That's in my lip service project pan, actually. So I'm gonna put it in a different spot. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then I got this new Dose of Colors lip gloss. This is in the shade Honey, I'm Home. Really like this. Um, it's very pretty. But the funny thing is, is like every time I say Honey, I'm Home, have you guys seen Pleasantville? You need to see Pleasantville if you haven't. It's iconic. Like, it's just so beautiful. But you should see it. Uh, but there's this scene where William H. Macy is um, the dad in the movie. He uh, comes home and there's nobody there and it's like dark. And it's like a 1950s kind of a thing. So he comes in and he puts his hat up on the hat rack and he's like, Honey, I'm home. Nobody answers which is freaking him out because that never happens. Why isn't dinner on the table? You know what I'm saying? So he just keeps doing it. He's just like, honey, I'm home. And then he starts to lose his shit. So every time I put this on, I think of that scene and it cracks me up. So <laughs> I love that lip gloss. Okay. And then I have this uh, Too Faced Melted Long, what is it? Long wearing, long wear lipstick. Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Violet. Love that. Okay. Now, this stuff is actually the same thing, and it's neither one of these things. It's Project Beauty Setting Spray. It's not my favorite. I've been trying to use it up and get it out of here. This is empty because I poured the rest of it into here, and I 
don't love this mister, so I'm gonna chuck it. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna use up the rest of it and be done with it, but I'll probably keep this because I do like this mister. Mm-hmm, yeah, I do. So, we'll be keeping that. On that note, I did repurchase my Mac Fix Plus and I was able to get the rose one, which I was real excited about. But yes, I, I love, I love this. So, I'll put it back. Also, I have this lip scrub, which is in my lip service project pan. I will link it in the cards. It should be up by now. The latest update so it's just a little lip scrub from pure and then i have the hanalei lip treatment so there's that also in that project pan okay i have also been using these three little mini perfume samples i have j'adore dior i have uh gucci bloom and i have mark jacobs daisy these are all like very popular and yeah i have been using those and enjoying those go in there okay that is everything finally so those are the products that I've been using for like the last few weeks in my weekly makeup basket um, and I really like the way this is going so I'm gonna keep doing it because I love being able to use all my things so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna keep using them like organically and just pull for the things that I'm looking for at the moment and uh, I will just save them up and I will tell you what I think oh and I almost forgot it's not quite done I do have several items here that I did not show you I'll just I'll just I'll just tell you this I have all of these lipsticks uh, that are from my lipstick roulette. I will link that for you in the cards if you want to go ahead and watch that. So these are for, I haven't done my update for that yet. So I did use those. I also did use the ones from my last update. Uh, so I will link that. You can look at that if you want to see what the other ones I used before these were because I go two weeks at a time with those. And then I also have like the lipstick roulette that I was talking about so those are my lipsticks for that now we're done that's everything so I hope you enjoyed this new format because I know I'm gonna love it I'm still gonna keep track of the use when I put all of these things back in my collection I'm gonna go ahead and mark them on my spreadsheet that I have on my phone that I've used them recently and that way if I get to like five, cause I have like a star rating for each time I use it. If I get to like five stars, I will just not pull for that in theory. <laughs> it's not gonna work on certain items. If, if it's something that I only have one of, obviously that doesn't count, but like, you know, like eyeliners or whatever, stuff like that, that I have like multiples of the same type. Like I have a lot of black eyeliners and I should probably try the other ones out at some point. So stuff like that, whatever. I will let you know if, um, if I reach five stars on anything and then I will move on to something different so it doesn't get boring. And so I am getting a full rotation on my collection and that way I can decide if I need to kick something out or not. So, you know, like declutter, but I've already done a big declutter. So it could still happen though, you know, just on second use or whatever. I might just be like, you know, I haven't been using this, like looking through the list and being like, look, I said I liked this, but there's only like one star in the last six months. I might have to reconsider an item like that. So anyway, that is everything. If you guys would like to subscribe to my channel, that would be really cool. If you want to hit the little notification bell so you actually see my videos come up in your feed, that would be even better. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, go ahead and leave them down below. I will definitely read them. And yeah. Oh, you can also like the video if that's appropriate. So anyway, that's going to be everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to next time. Bye.